Are you stuck outside of the United States and you just can't get back? Or you know someone who is because of all those travel bans that President Trump has put into place over the last months? Well, this video hopefully will give you some hope because there's a new waiver that you might qualify that will be able to get you back to the United States, even if you are banned under one of those proclamations. Also, don't forget to watch the entire video because there's going to be a fun fact challenge stuck in there that if you're the first one to guess the answer of who the U.S. immigrant is, you are able to win a prize. So don't miss it. Hi, and thank you for joining me to talk immigration. If you're new to my channel, my name is Andrea Shev, and I'm the managing attorney at Shev Law Group in Los Angeles, California. I've been doing immigration for almost 20 years now, and I put together tons of videos for you to give you short, concise, and easy to understand information on all types of immigration issues. If you like the video, don't forget to like it, thumb it up, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that come out. I do videos at least once a week, if not more. I try to keep as up to date on immigration issues as I possibly can. Okay, let's jump into this possibility of a waiver to get you back to the United States if you're stuck outside the United States due to one of President Trump's travel bans. Now, as you all know, President Trump has put in a number of travel bans over the last months beginning in March. And some of those travel bans had exceptions to them. People that were lawful permanent residents or spouses of children of U.S. citizens or lawful permanent residents. But if you didn't qualify for one of those categories, you've been stuck outside the United States for who knows how long. I can tell you tons of my clients, we talk to them all the time about the struggles of having families stuck outside the United States or relatives or employees of businesses that we just can't get them back. Well, there is a new hope out there that there is a waiver that can be applied for at the particular airport that you will be flying into the United States prior to you leaving where you're coming from. So if you're stuck outside the United States because of a travel ban and you don't already qualify under one of the exceptions, this waiver might work for you. So let's go through it. What and who is included in this waiver? Okay, let's go through the waiver. So this waiver is applied for at the particular airport where you will be flying into. Because what happens is if you are banned by one of the travel bans, then that will stop you from entering the country. And if you do for some reason get into the country, like through the airports, and you arrive, let's say for example, in Los Angeles at LAX, if you do not have a waiver and you were not one of the exceptions to the travel ban, you will not get into the country. So this waiver will allow you to not only get through the airport security in the country you're coming from, but also allow you to get through CBP, the Border Patrol, here in the United States when you arrive. Even though there is Border Patrol usually at most major airports throughout the world that are also doing screening before you even get on the plane to get to the United States. So this would basically give you a piece of paper, an email approving a waiver of the travel ban that you can use not only in the airport, at the Border Patrol, if you have to approach a Border Patrol before you get on the plane, and also Border Patrol when you arrive in the United States. So it is a really, really good waiver to be able to obtain. Okay, so who qualifies for the waiver and how do you get it? So who qualifies for the waiver? It's people that are not already exempted from the travel ban, obviously. It is people like this. The alien is an infant, a young child who falls under the proclamation, so would be excluded otherwise, but traveling with individuals who are not subject to the proclamation. That's one, one category of who would might qualify. An individual needing urgent medical care might qualify. An alien seeking to enter the United States to visit or reside with close family members and the denial of entry of the alien would cause the alien undue hardship. That would be including U.S. family members that are not already exempted from the actual travel ban, like a U.S. citizen, a, a lawful permanent resident, and those type of people that are already exempted from the travel ban. So these are other people other than those people. And then we have aliens seeking to enter the United States for significant business or professional obligations and the denial of them 
entry, a denial of them being allowed into the country would impair those obligations. And then the last one is other important national interests that justify waiving the proclamation the alien does not pose a significant risk of transmuting the disease in the United States. Okay, so those are people that could possibly qualify under the waiver. Now it sounds easy enough, but you have to actually prove that you are one of these people. So when you apply for this waiver at the airports through a submission by email to the particular airport that you are arriving at, you have to provide also a statement explaining exactly why you qualify for a waiver under possibly one of these categories. You have to provide proof of why you qualify. Remember one thing that's very important, not all airports are doing this. Not all airports in the US are doing this. So you have to make sure that you choose an airport that actually allows for this waiver. The major airports across the country like LAX and Chicago O'Hare, those all do this procedure and they will do the waiver process, but not all of the airports do. So you have to make sure that you are entering or you're flying into one of the major airports that is doing the waiver process. The other thing you have to be very aware of is that every single airport has their own procedures for this. It is not something standard across of all the airports. So when you decide which airport you're going to be flying into, you have to make sure that likely you're going to have to contact an attorney to help you with this. Make sure you contact them to see what is the procedures for that particular airport. What is the email that I'm supposed to send it to? How do they want to prepare it? What kind of information do they want submitted? How do they want it submitted? Some of them want it at least so many days before you arrive. So you have to make sure that you look into the particulars of that particular airport and what they require, how they want it submitted, and what you have to submit and how to submit it. So it's very important to contact probably an attorney in this. It would be probably advisable to have an attorney involved in this so they can get you up-to-date information on exactly what you need to do to be successful or the most successful to get the waiver actually approved and granted. Okay, This is a huge, huge thing for a lot of people that are stuck out the US, outside the US that don't qualify under one of the standard exemptions that are in the actual proclamations. Okay, it's time for our fun fact challenge. But before I give you the new fun fact, I got to give you the answer to the fun fact challenge from last video, which was in the public charge rule is back video. So if you missed it, you want to go back and watch it so you can hear what the fun fact was before you hear the actual answer, which I'm about to say now. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the winner of last time's fun fact challenge is, congratulations. Okay, let's now move on to our new fun fact challenge, which is, this is a US immigrant born in Germany who came to the United States at the age of 18. They changed the face of the fashion industry and created a clothing staple that I'm sure every single one of you out there has in your closets today. Do you know who it is? Be the first one to guess who this US immigrant is and put it in the comments below and you could win a prize. I'll announce the winner next video along with the answer, so make sure to tune in and make sure you hit that notification bell right now if you haven't already, so you don't miss when the next video comes out. Okay, I hope this video was helpful and I hope it gave you hope that there is a possible waiver out there to those travel bans if some of you have been waiting and stuck outside of the country for a long period of time separated from your loved ones or not being able to conduct the business that you need to in the United States. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ever reach out to us at Chev Law Group, me, myself included. And don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and do everything you can so you can stay well informed in the world of immigration. Please have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe and look forward to seeing you next time.